guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my makeup collection and storage. I thought I would start with showing you guys where I do my makeup every day. So this is my vanity, which I got from Ikea. It was super affordable. The lamp and the mirror are from Target and the picture above my vanity is from Erin Condren. The chair and the fake flowers are from TJ Maxx. So I really like this vanity because it was super affordable. The top is a glass tabletop, so it makes cleaning it very simple and easy. If you guys watch my everyday makeup drawer videos, then you know that I switch out the products inside my vanity every month so I can constantly try new products and discover old favorites. I keep the rest of my makeup over in these Ikea six drawers. Yeah, this one has six drawers. I have two of them stacked right on top of each other. I know everybody and their mother has these, but they're just a really affordable, easy option for makeup storage, and I think they work really, really well. So even though everyone has them, I would still recommend them. So in my top drawer, I just keep makeup that I haven't opened yet. Some of it might be open. I might have swatched a few things, but in general, most of the makeup is unused. These are just products that I haven't gotten the chance to try yet, or like very few of them are backups. I don't keep a whole lot of backups on hand, but every once in a while I have like an extra of something that I know I'm going to use. So right here in the first section, I have a bunch of mascaras. I have Smashbox, Benefit, Too Faced, Laura Mercier, or no, Laura Keller, and then a few drugstore options. In the back, I have some face products. So I have some hourglass foundations that don't match me right now, but I do want to try a few Smashbox products. I have a NARS concealer, a Too Faced bronzer, and then I do have two Too Faced palettes that I haven't tried yet. A lot of these products, if I don't try them within like a couple of months, I end up passing them along to somebody else to try because I really just have more makeup than I need. There's no doubting that, but I do make YouTube videos, so it's nice to have a variety. So in this section, I just have some eyeliners. I have a few of my favorite ColourPop eyeliners as backups for when I do run out because I know I will use them up. Some eye primers, some lip products, so I have glosses, lipsticks, and then I got the organizers in this drawer from Hote Look. Hote Look has great organization, super affordable, so I'll leave their website in the description box below. I do have a few ColourPop shadows because they discontinue my favorite shades all the time, so I always make sure to grab an extra one. And then in the second drawer, I have all of my single shadows. So my single shadow collection mainly consists of ColourPop. I do have a whole ColourPop collection and swatch video, and I am going to do an updated one very soon, but in the meantime, here's a quick look at them. I got these containers from TJ Maxx right in the kitchen section. They're really nice because the bottom is rubber, so the shadows don't end up um, um, like rolling all over the place when you open and close the drawer. So these are some of my neutrals. I'm a huge fan of their shadows for the lid. I think they are so beautiful. I have some really fun warm shades, some metallic shades, and then I do have a few pops of color. I don't wear a ton of color on my eyes, but when I do, in general, I reach for a ColourPop shadow. So I promise to have an updated collection and swatch video for you guys within the next month or two. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite ColourPop shadow is because I definitely want to hear from you. I have a few really bright Bright, fun shades as well and these containers in this part of my collection are from Target in the closet section so I don't have too too many single shadows I've decluttered a lot of them over the years and I do need to do another declutter soon because in general I mainly wear ColourPop shadows I do love Milani I think those are some of my favorite as well and I have some Buxom some Wet n Wild these are my cream shadows or colored bases and then back here I have a few of my like um, what are they called I eye pencils? No, eyeshadow crayons, eyeshadow crayons. In the next drawer, I have all of my lip gloss, and I have a lot of colorful glosses, but in general, I tend to stick with nudes. I really need to go through and declutter this drawer as well. In case you guys missed my social media announcement, I am doing another declutter series, so stay tuned for that. The next one, or the first video in that series should be my next video. I love decluttering my collection. Because I do receive a lot of makeup and I buy a lot of makeup, it's definitely important to go through and make sure that everything I have in my collection is something I love, and if not, I like to pass it along to somebody else and makeup does expire. So I love decluttering, but I also love trying new makeup at the same time. So back here, I have some Bare Minerals glosses, which are great if you're looking for like everyday go-to. I have some of the Too Faced lip injections, which kind of give your lips a plump look, some Smashbox, a few mini Buxom glosses, and then some e.l.f. glossy glosses. And then in the front, I have some NYX butter glosses, which I need to wear more often. I used to have more, but I've decluttered a lot of them. And then a few mini Bite Beauty lip glosses. Right here, I have some 
from Buxom. Buxom is one of my favorite. I have cream finishes, sheer finishes, but I definitely love Buxom glosses. I love the tingling feeling they give your lips. Then I have some from the Balm, and in the back I have Stila. Over here I have all of the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lips because they did send them to me when they first came out. They have sheer, metallic, they have so many finishes, and I'm a huge fan, and I love that they're affordable. My next drawer is lipstick. So it, right here in the front I have all of like my traditional lipstick. So I have reds and berries, and then I have like medium pinks, which I don't wear a ton of pink lipstick, but it's nice to have a couple on hand. And then I have nudes. Nude lipstick is definitely my favorite. Nude and red. I love both of those colors so much. Right here I have my ColourPop Ultra Mattes and Ultra Satins. As you guys can tell, I'm a huge ColourPop fan. I feel like these are like my most worn lipsticks and I have some nudes that I keep on my vanity, but in here I have all of more of like my bright, fun, dramatic colors. I keep them in these holders because they kind of put them at an angle, so I feel like they tend to separate less when they're standing up a little bit, but they can still fit in the drawer, which is really nice. These other containers are from Target in the bathroom section and they're deep enough to fit in the deeper drawers of the Alex 6 or the Alex 9 drawer unit. Smashbox is definitely one of my favorites when it comes to liquid lipsticks. And then I have Julep, NYX. Over here I have some Bare Minerals liquid lipsticks as well as some of their traditional lipsticks. And I'm not the biggest fan of their liquid lipsticks, but I like them for like everyday wear if I don't want like a super drying lipstick because they're a little bit more comfortable on the lips. And then right here in the front I have some Smashbox lipsticks. I keep them in their box so I can remember what color they are because otherwise they just have like a plastic tube so the box helps me keep track of which ones I have. I do have a swatch video on those so I'll link it in the description box below and then right over here I have some other liquid lipsticks so I have the Balm, Violet Voss, Ofra, Stila, Sephora, a bunch of random ones but they just kind of hang out right here in my collection and then in the back I have some lip treatments so I have some lip balms, an e.l.f. lipstick remover, Benefits cha-cha tint and just a couple of random lip products and then right over to the right I have all of my e.l.f. matte lip Lip pencils and then some like other lipstick crayons as well. In the next drawer I have all of my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters and I've kind of gotten more into blushes, bronzers, and highlighters over the past year. Before that I kind of stuck with my favorites but I have been experimenting with some other ones. So right in the front I have a few cream products. I'm not a huge cream blush bronzer or highlight fan. I do like the ColourPop formula, which is kind of like a cream to powder. So I do have a few of those. So these are my ColourPop blushes and my ColourPop highlighters because I'm a big fan of their highlighters. I feel like you can use them on the face or on the eyes, which is really nice. Over here, I have some Benefit box powder blushes, which are some of my favorite. I have Buxom, Laura Mercier, Becca Cosmetics, which I love as well, Elf Cosmetics, Makeup Geek, and then right here in the front, I have the Balm, Wet n Wild, Too Faced, and Elf. I am planning on doing another um, collection and declutter video like I mentioned in the beginning, so if I miss one in this video, I didn't wanna go too in depth, I'll kind of talk about each formula in that video and why I like them or why I don't like them. These next blushes were so cute. They're from Too Faced, they were in limited edition and I got them from Hot Look. I get a ton of my higher end makeup off of Hot Look for a discounted price. And then right here in the front, I have Essence, a few Tarte blushes, which are really beautiful on the skin. This one is from The Balm. It's kind of like a highlight blush all in one. And then I have a few of the Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio, which I think they discontinued, which makes me so sad because they were definitely some of my favorites. And then right behind those, I have some Laura Geller blushes, which are pretty similar in formula, but I have really just fallen in love with these over the past year or two. They are gorgeous on the skin. They have a lot of shimmer in them. So so if that's the type of blush you're looking for, you will definitely like those. I have a couple of the City Color B Matte blushes, which are affordable and they're definitely a great option. And then right over to the right, I have all of my bronzers. So I have an e.l.f. baked bronzer, one from Essence. I have one from the Balm right behind that one, which is kind of like a bronzer highlighter all in one. And then I have Physicians Formula. And then I have a bunch of bronzers from Too Faced, which I definitely need to declutter a few of them for sure. I'm so looking forward to decluttering my collection if I haven't talked about it enough, but I wanted to give you guys a full overview before I jumped into it. So Becca Cosmetics, right over here I have some highlighters. I don't think I have a ton of highlighters. I mean, I definitely have more than I need, but I feel like 
I mean, if you count my ColourPop highlighters, I probably have a lot, but I feel like I do pretty well at keeping my bronzer and highlighter collection under control, um, but I've really been into highlights lately, so that could change. Becca Cosmetics makes my favorite highlighters. Champagne Pop is my absolute favorite of all time. It's just such a beautiful formula and a beautiful color. And then over here to the right, after I show you guys my highlighters, I just have a few different palettes. So the first one is the NARS, I forget the exact name, it was a NARS palette that came out a few years ago. I have a few from Pure Cosmetics. These are really beautiful cream highlights, which don't get enough use, unfortunately. One from e.l.f. And then moving to the next drawer, I have my eyeshadow palette collection. I did do an entire video on my eyeshadow palette collection, so I'll link it in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. I go through every single palette that I own, which one is my favorite, which one isn't, and then I think I have a video on like my favorite eyeshadow palette. So to save you guys some time, I'll link that in the description box below. But for a quick overview, I keep all of my favorites right here. I have Smashbox, Anastasia, Too Faced, Urban Decay, Lorac, like all of your typical basic palettes. And I did film this video a few weeks ago, so if you guys have been watching my recent videos, I have added quite a few palettes to my collection because, I mean, as if I didn't have enough, I just have really been trying out a whole lot of them lately. So I do have a couple more, which I've really been loving. But back here, I just keep some of my bigger palettes like Lorac Mega Pros, Morphe. I don't have too, too many Morphe. That's actually not a MAC palette. It is my ColourPop Press Shadows. I have one from Itzy, a few that I've gotten in subscription services. This one is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani, the Balm, ColourPop, all of like your typical palettes, Physician's Formula, and then I have the Urban Decay Naked Basics and some of the Smashbox Cover Shop palettes, which are definitely some of my favorites lately. And then over here I have some from Essence Cosmetics, which is definitely one of my favorite drugstore brands. And then next to that I have some Buxom palettes. Behind there I just have a few from Elf Cosmetics, Stila, and then right to the left, I keep all of my like very small drugstore palettes. So I have e.l.f. Cosmetics, Smashbox, Maybelline, just like a few quads that are just, they kind of fit really well in here. And then in the very back, I have Tarte, Too Faced, a bunch of random palettes. So I'll save you guys all of the talking, but I do have a full collection video in the description box below. If you guys are interested, I'll link it below. In my next drawer, I have all of my foundations, face primers, and powders. I feel like I keep this drawer pretty well under control. I mean, I feel like to the typical person who doesn't have like a crazy makeup collection, it might look a little bit out of hand, but I don't test too, too many face products because I kind of stick with my regular favorites. I do want to declutter this though because there are a lot that I don't currently use. So I have Too Faced, Maybelline, Revlon, CoverGirl, like all of your typical drugstore brands. And then I have, in the back, I have a Pond's BB Cream, which definitely needs to be decluttered. It's a little bit on the older side. I have Tarte, Buxom, which I really don't love that foundation. I was kind of giving it another chance. And then the Hourglass Vanish Seamless is one of my favorites, so I have a few of those. And then in the back, I have more foundations. So I have Urban Decay, Tarte, a few e.l.f. Cosmetics foundations, and then all of my concealers as well. So I don't have too, too many concealers, but I have a few from e.l.f., Amazing Cosmetics, Benefit, anything that goes under my eyes or on my face. Right over to the left, I have some um, makeup primer sprays and makeup setting sprays, and then I have a few face primers. These little trays are just from TJ Maxx in the uh, what's it called, kitchen section, and I feel like they fit really well in here, and they just kind of give it a little bit of organization, nothing too crazy. So I have some e.l.f. base primers, I have a few contour kits in the back, and then a few unopened products back there. Right over here I have my powders, so I have It Cosmetics, e.l.f., I have a few of the Laura Geller baked foundations, which are really nice. I have one from Stila, and then I also have um, one from NYX as well, and then one back there is from Benefit. This is one of my favorite powders. Right here I have eyeliners. I have all of my eye products in this drawer, which I don't go into this drawer too much because I keep my favorite eyeliners over at my vanity. So I have some ColourPop, some Tarte, um, Laura Geller, Stila, just a bunch of random ones that I don't use as often. I have a few eyeshadow bases and then a few different eyebrow products. But I feel like these products don't change too often for me, so I don't keep too, too many of them in my collection. Just a couple that I use from time to time. So a few eyebrow gels, just things that might come in handy at a later time. Over here I have the ColourPop 
cream gel liners. I think that's what they're called, but I use them as eyeshadow bases if I want a little bit more of a crazy color. I don't typically use eyeliner in the pop form, but I like the ColourPop ones a little bit, and I really like the Stila cushion gel liners, or I forget what the exact name is, but those are a great option as well. And then I have mascaras. I feel like most of these mascaras have been opened. A few of them are unopened. It takes me so long to finish a mascara. Am I the only one? In the next drawer, I just keep all of my sheet masks and my extra makeup brushes, and it's pretty simple. I have some makeup wipes, nothing too crazy in this drawer. The next drawer is all of my skincare, skincare samples, which I know it's a little bit crazy. I declutter this all the time. I donate it. I give it to friends and family, but since I am subscribed to so many subscription boxes, it kind of fills right up again. So I use a lot of this when I travel, and then, like I said, I donate and declutter it as well. This one is my hair care drawer. So I have some deep conditioners, some hair oils, a bunch of samples, which I do need to donate and declutter again because it's getting super full. And I use a lot of these products. Some of them are backups. Some of them are just things that I've gotten in subscription boxes that I want to try. And then in the last drawer, I keep some makeup storage. So all of these containers are from Biallegory. I have some lashes, some ColourPop products that I don't use, but I like to keep for reference. And that is it. So that is my entire makeup collection and storage. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you want to check out more of my videos, I will link some related videos in the description box below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.